Good morning. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm Bob. Age We're, badly. Um, I'm here with our new porn star, Sam. I'm not a porn star. Gay porn, so. I'm an exhibitionist, though. He is an exhibitionist. He wants to be an exhibitionist. He likes walking around those little skimpy uh, bodybuilder uniforms. And you tell him that story about uh, when you won the Mr. Ohio and the guy came to your house the next day and knocked on your door and said, I have pictures of you I'd like to show you? No, he w invited me to his house. Oh, he invited you to his house. And so I took Vicky to his house and threesome. And the guy was really disappointed. The homo. Sexual. Sam. Homosexual. Yes. Uh, hey, what do we got going on? Well, the first thing I was going to talk about, did, did you know that there's an ordinance in San Francisco that you're allowed to walk around the streets naked? No, you can do that in my house, too. No, I mean, not you can you, actually walk the streets naked in San Francisco, and it's not against the law. And But they're trying to pass an ordinance where you have to set a towel. If you're going to sit down like on a public park bench or something like that, you got to lay a towel down. And there's a lot of the naked people complaining about that. So, you know. Mm. Can't so wait sounds, to go there and have dinner. I think I'm just going to go. I'm not going to say it. Don't say it. Anyway, we're going to be at the Hurricane Bay. It's going to be in Clearwater. It's going to be a great bodybuilding contest. Saturday the 1st, Dr. John will be competing. Yep. Masters. And there's going to be a lot of vendors there, including us. And we have a new line of shirts, which is um, Iron Goddess. And I tear that midget up. I tear a midget up. I tear a midget up. Which that is so be politically awesome incorrect, shirt. we're sure you guys are going to buy the shit out of that shirt. But that's, that's my favorite shirt. I tear, oh, well, I tear you're a almost midget a midget, up. so... Picking on I'm their own kind. I'm actually the tallest dwarf in the world. You're the tallest dwarf in the world? Yeah. It's all right. You got <laughs> short arms. That's why you can bench so good because you got short arms yeah. for you. Anyway, guys, we're going to do um, what are we doing? Calves today. We're going to do donkey calf races. Donkey calf races. Today we have a new videographer, Mr. Uh, or excuse me, Master Stephen Lee. Ninja photo. We'll put a plug in for him. Great guy. Where do you see the pictures in the catalog? We're redoing the website. All the shirts are actually going to have a live model. Steven did all the uh, the photo sh shots, and they're great. Yep. So, donkey calf. Donkey calf raises. So we're going to go do them now. So. Let's go. Well, I'm here. I'm finishing up my workout, and I'm going to do uh, donkey calf raises, which is actually my favorite calf exercise. You want to go as heavy as you can, and you want to try to get as many reps as you can. Uh, I want to demonstrate the exercise, but I'm only going to do five reps because I'm already burnt out. So, Check it out, it's a donkey calf machine, I'm um, bent over. And sometimes you could have somebody setting on your back if uh, you don't have enough weight. But what I do is I put my feet together and basically raise your calf just like this. Now let's say uh, the inside or the outside of your calf is weak. You can change the position of your feet like this, or you can go out like this. As you can see it works it different. But, that is donkey calf raises, and it's a good exercise to put in your routine. Uh, if you want to switch it up a little bit, do standing calf raises one day donkey calf raises the next day, and then you could do seating calf raises. That'd be probably be the best way to do it. But anyway, have fun, train hard, and don't pay no attention to Bob. <laughs> hey Sam, let me spit on you, make it look like you actually did that exercise. Maybe a little sweat yeah. on your face. I'm being, this is no joke, my doctor cut my medicine, and I'm, I'm really bad Because you're abusing pain. it. You can't snort that shit all the time, and the doctor's gonna kick your yeah, ass. Yeah, whatever. I'm not doing that, uh -huh. but I have really bad, severe pain. He did now. behind the counter one day. He tried it. He was crushed up a pill and he snorted it and got busted by the lady that works here. I was pretending like I was doing yeah, that. Yeah, right. I know you don't pretend. How's that donkey calf? It actually works pretty good. Yeah. And you know the thing I like about the donkey calves is that you can. It's a lot easier to bring your feet in and out, so you can work it at different angles, and um, and it puts total stress on the calves. So you're not getting, you know, how you stand, doing yeah. standing calf raises. Um, it actually puts stress on your whole body. But when you're doing donkey calf raises, it hits them at a different angle. And it even hits them at a different angle than versus setting calf raises. But it's, if you have weak calves, um, 
it's a good one to throw in there. You know, if you want to do standing, seated, and donkey calf raises. If you have good calves, pick one out and whatever works for you. But I do all three because I want to be beautiful. And that's, all right, that's, so that's our it. exercise. Before we sign off, I want to shout out to John. Good luck on the show at the Hurricane this week. And also, Stephen Schwartz has been a great supporter of our site. He's got a show, two shows coming up. We're sending him some shirts and some bottles to give away. The bottles to give away shirts for him for doing a show. Anybody, if you guys are going to do a show of any kind, uh, fitness show, obviously, send me an email, and I will make sure you get some uh, shirts and perhaps some hats or other uh, things to give away while you're at the show. We appreciate your support. Love it when you wear shirts, especially if you're a grand champion. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. And peace and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, I'm not a crook. <laughs>